Yeah, I want to start off by saying, uh, you know, North Texas, our football program got a lot better today. Uh, we signed 23 prospects uh, that are not only great football players, but uh, men that fit our culture and uh, are going to continue to come in here and uh, be great teammates. They fit our locker room, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be a, a group that is going to be a huge reason why we continue uh, uh, having success here and, and continuing to build and grow uh, towards winning championships. Um, extremely proud of our coaches. Uh, our players that are here uh, through this recruiting process, all the hard work they put into uh, getting guys uh, to be around our program that uh, are, again, I've said it, not only great football players, but uh, great men as well. So um, through this process, uh, it's always been a challenge. It's challenging. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a long year. It's building relationships with these uh, young men and their families uh, is very important to our staff and myself. And uh, I can't thank our coaches enough for uh, the amount of work they put in to uh, help our football team grow. But uh, with that, uh, we're extremely excited, and uh, I'm sure you all have a lot of questions, and I'll open it up to you. You have a pretty balanced class on both sides of the ball. Just how important was that to you all to keep, to cover as many positions as possible and just to get Yeah, you, you always have needs, um, you know, and, and understanding who's leaving, uh, who's graduating, and kind of where some depth issues are. Uh, but we do have a val very balanced class. If we signed, uh, you know, 11 uh, offensively, 12 defensively. Uh, I felt like we met our needs in this class. Uh, we sent out 23 scholarships and got all of them back. So on signing day, uh, that's a big deal, uh, especially uh, it's kind of a crazy time. It's a stressful time for everybody. But um, again, I I'm, uh, I'm very pleased uh, with the class. On paper, this looks like probably the best class that you've had in your time here. What led to the success that you guys have had this year in recruiting? Well, I think it's a number of things. One, uh, you know, the more success you have uh, winning football games and, and, and people understand that you, you've set a culture and uh, you've proven that we're going to go out here and compete week in and week out um, on, on competing for championships, going to bowl games. You know, that's what, that's what kids want to be able to do uh, when they get to a school. Also, you know, we've been uh, here now three, three years, and so building relationships, uh, you know, in our areas, uh, getting to know these coaches and letting them understand who we are, uh, that uh, when they send kids to us, they're going to be treated uh, the right way. Uh, we're we're, we're going to coach them hard. We're going to love them harder. Uh, we're going to build relationships uh, and be there for them. And so uh, I, th I think it goes into, you know, all the hard work our coaches do. Uh, but kind of the success we've had and then also just the relationships we've built. I still think it's a relationship business uh, uh, with coaches, with families. And, um, I think that's why we've uh, we had success this year. You made some changes in, as far as your recruiting operations off the field and added some staff. Did that pay off now that you've had a full cycle? <laughs> There's no doubt. Uh, you know, our, our recruiting uh, department's done an unbelievable job. Uh, Luke and Shelby uh, have, have uh, worked extremely hard uh, and there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes uh, obviously we each have our different areas uh, our coaches go out there uh, but our staff does a great job even though um, you know uh, a kid may not be in their area our entire staff gets around these guys and, and their families um, we, we recruit every kid uh, we try to as much as possible as a staff and, and making sure that uh, they get to know every everyone on our staff they build relationship uh, relationships with all these guys, uh, I think it uh, makes it a lot easier in the end uh, when they truly know everybody. And, and Luke and Shelby have done an unbelievable job. Uh, they're, they're a huge part of this, and um, I definitely think that's uh, helped us for sure. Do you have any spots left? No, we're full. Uh, that's, that, that was our allotment. We were allowed to sign uh, what we got. You guys anticipate everybody that you've signed qualifying? Absolutely. Early signing period, this is the second time you guys have gone through this. Was it easier the second time around with the early signing period, just kind of knowing the lay of the land and how to go about it? If you know what goes in the last 48 hours, uh, you have to be there. Uh, it's, again, uh, there's a lot of things that go into it. Uh, there's a lot of stress on everyone. You know, uh, you know this early signing day, uh, you know, some of our guys are still playing in their state championship games. Um, so they have a lot on their plate. Uh, but, uh, you know, would I say it's been easier? No. Uh, I think every year uh, different things pop up along the way. And, uh, you know, you're continuing to make sure that there's, there's a great line of communication 
everybody's on the same page uh, to where when we get to signing day, there's no surprises. And um, we're very pleased, again, uh, we've put a lot of work into this and building these relationships and it, it's, it's worked out for us today uh, that there were no surprises. And, um, you know, feel like uh, it was a great day. Did you want all your kids to sign early? Was that a big point? Of point yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we want to, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, we, we can we can start uh, getting the process uh, going. Uh, you know, we want everybody to sign early and, and make sure that uh, they're part of this family. And uh, we're never going to pressure anyone. Uh, that's not our thing. You know, again, I think it, it comes down to more as you recruit guys, they understand who you are, who your program, what we're all about. Um, you know, I, I think if they're committed and uh, uh, just sign it, I mean, if you're committed, you're committed. And again, all those guys were 100% committed, so it was time for them to, you know, make sure that they signed. You were, you were able to add DeAndre Platten from Virginia Tech. Uh, just what did you see in him, and what was the process like of him being a graduate transfer coming up? Yeah, I mean, we're losing both of our tackles uh, this next season, and so it was a way to get a guy with a lot of experience, um, you know, in there. You know, he's a, he's a big physical guy. He's athletic. Uh, and fits what we're trying to get accomplished, you know. And the biggest thing, uh, just talking to him, uh, he's very motivated, um, you know, to come in here and, and compete and uh, help us be special. And uh, really excited about DeAndre. I know he'll uh, be a, a great addition to our program. This recruiting class that you guys have put together, was it in putting this class together and the improvement that you guys made in, in recruiting, is that an important piece of getting to where you want to go as a program? Look, the better players you have, <laughs> uh, the better you are as coaches, as a program. Uh, recruiting is the lifeblood. Let's, let's make sure that we're all, I mean, without the players, and uh, you're probably not going to be very successful. We're all in this together, but, uh, you know, the better you get each and every year, um, you know, we're always trying to, uh, you know, improve our team each and every year and get better and grow. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind this class does that for us. Uh, what, have you seen, what did you see from them and that makes them special major one Virginia? Well, both of those guys, again, they're, they're, they're older. They're, they've been a little bit more mature. Uh, but, uh, you know, with, with Quinn, obviously losing two corners, it's a guy that can come in here and really compete and step up. Uh, and it reminds me a lot of Kimon uh, coming out of uh, junior college. Uh, but, you know, what's more impressive with him, he's qualified at high school. Um, you know, he... Uh, uh, he's a very sharp kid, great smile, and I know he's going to, uh, you know, uh, add that maturity in that room right off the bat. He'll, he'll have that confidence, but, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm excited for him to come in here and compete uh, for that job. You know, with David, uh, same thing. You know, we're always trying to uh, continue to grow and build our depth. Uh, you know, I feel like he, it's a position to where up front, uh, on either side of the ball, you gotta you got to be dominant up front in order to be successful. And so. I think uh, David, with his length, his athleticism, his quick twitch, uh, there's no doubt in my mind, uh, you know, him getting in here, learning our system, uh, you know, uh, and all these guys, it, it takes time, you know, uh, you know, growing and learning through the system, but I, I'm, I'm very excited. They're extremely sharp, uh, and I know they'll be uh, very excited to get in here and start uh, competing with their, with their coaches, with their teammates, and they're going to be, uh, they're, they're going to add a value. To our program. How many years does Quinn have left? Is he a two for two guy? Or? He's three for three. Three for three. Mm -hmm. Is that just a, a big ad for you guys to be able to get somebody with three years left? Come yeah, like again, <clears throat> get in here, you help them learn and grow within the system. Uh, the longer they have, the better. It gives us an opportunity not only uh, to continue to develop in the weight room uh, with our nutrition program, uh, you know, working with our coaches. You know, you want to have the opportunity to coach these guys uh, for as long as you can. So, uh, you know, that definitely uh, is a plus. What are your, go ahead. You had Katie Lyles this morning. Yeah. Um, one, of, one of the top ranked guys now in the class. Just um, what, was, what was it like getting him and getting to know him and his whole Story. Well, we've been uh, we've been recruiting Hatib for a long time. Uh, we we offered him uh, way back and uh, a long time ago. We went and watched him this past spring uh, and knew that he was a player that uh, fit our program, fit what we're trying to do offensively. Um, he's a very sharp kid. Uh, comes from a military family. Um, 
and know that uh, you know he's very driven. And so, uh, you know, at one point we just got full to where uh, we didn't have uh, a scholarship available uh, for that position. Uh, you know, but kind of down the stretch, something opened up uh, to where. You know, we could get back in on him. Uh, luckily, we still had that relationship with him and, and talking through it. Uh, you know, he was very excited and, and uh, you know, kind of after uh, getting on the phone with him and his, his mom, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, he felt like this was the best place for him. And so we're, we're really excited to have him be a part of our class. I know he, he's, uh, he's a great athlete. Uh, he's long, he's physical, uh, plays with an attitude. Uh, I think he's a very good fit. Devon had had an injury late in his high school career. Did you guys feel? I'm sorry. Who, who did Devon, you say? didn't Devon oh. have a pretty significant injury there? And then what, what went into the decision to stick with him? Uh, yeah, well, first off, uh, when you commit to us, we're going to commit to you. No matter uh, what happens throughout your senior year, things happen, and uh, that's not the way we do business. If, if you have uh, something that happens your senior year, um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's unexpected and. Is, is no one likes it, but there's one thing that we're going to do around here is, is be loyal. Uh, you know, once we build that relationship with with uh, student athlete and their families, uh, we're going to be here for them. We're going to support them, and um, you know, injuries happen, but anymore, you know, uh, the medical and, and the doctors and all the different surgeries they do, uh, you can bounce back pretty quick from a lot of these. Uh, different injuries. So we're very excited about him. And I know uh, I talked to him last night. His rehab's going very well. Uh, and we're excited to get him here. You guys have blue shirted players in the past. Do you plan on blue shirting any players? We'll see. And then one other, one other thing here Anthony Weish mentioned that he w was looking to transfer out. Do you anticipate him departing after you know, this season? Yeah, we'll see what happens. We, we, we've had a lot of different conversations. Um, I think Anthony has been an unbelievable teammate since he's been here. He's worked extremely hard. I have a lot of uh, uh, respect for, uh, for Anthony and, and the things that he's done here. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, we'll see. You know, it's kind of what's – we want to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we're here, we help, we help these men grow and uh, mentor them. And, uh, ultimately, we want what's best for them and their future. And so we'll kind of see how it goes here. I haven't talked to them uh, since we've gotten back from the bowl game, but we'll sit down and uh, kind of have a discussion now the sign of this over. D'Amico Rowland was on your guys' uh, commit list for a while. Was there a situation there that pre prevented you guys from adding him to this class? I can't comment on anybody that's not in this class. <laughs> Good. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.